What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions. Today we're gonna do something kind of fun. Today we're gonna test out the zero to 60 time on this here 2014 Ram 1500. Now, why are we doing this? Well, just because we can and because it's gonna be kind of fun. So I really don't know what to expect. Before I started filming this video, I went ahead and just kind of looked at what zero to 60 times were for these trucks, and it looks like they're right around seven seconds. I saw Motor Trend got 6.9. So if I can beat 6.9 seconds, I'll be happy. So a little bit about the truck. This is a 2014 Ram 1500. Like I said, it has the six speed automatic transmission, not the eight speed, unfortunately. The rear gearing in this truck is actually unknown, but I believe it's just like the base model gearing, which I believe is 355s, which if you don't know what that means, basically this truck is kind of tailored for like getting better miles per gallon on the highway rather than having quicker acceleration times down low. However, I'm not gonna let that stop me and I'm going to see what this baby has in it. Uh, I've floored it a couple times, never done a zero to 60, but I mean, I've, I've gone on it a few times and it's pretty quick for being a 5,000 pound truck. So I think I can get under seven seconds, but we'll see. A few years ago when I had my 2014 RT Charger, it was the blacktop package and that was basically a RT Charger with gearing that was tailored for zero to 60 times and stuff like that. So with that car, I was able to get like a 4.730 to 60, even though most RT Charger owners were seeing like low five seconds zero to 60s. So when I posted a video doing zero to 60s in that car, I had, I guess the record for the fastest stock RT Charger, which was a long time ago. I don't know if that record is still there or not. Um, but at the time it was like the fastest zero to 60 of a stock RT Charger on YouTube. So, Maybe we can make the uh, fastest Ram 1500 zero to 60 on YouTube with a six speed automatic. So testing facility in Mexico is right here ahead of us. Let's see what she's got. So we got the air conditioning turned off. We have it in tow and haul mode and we have the manual shift selector mode enabled. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and give it attempt number one. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, that's 60. <laughs> so apparently it just automatically upshifts for you. You don't even have to hit the plus, but there was the first zero to 60, which uh, was pretty anticlimactic, if I must say so myself. So this time I'll turn off traction control. We'll see if that makes any difference, which is uh, unlikely, but we'll see. And then also I'm just gonna let it upshift on its own. Oh, breaking with the left foot, that was bad. All right, here we go. 20. 30, 40, okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell it, once it gets to the higher speeds, higher speeds, like above 50, the truck doesn't really like it, but you know, it's a truck. Now I'm sure you can tell by the video, you know, I am brake boosting it just a little bit and it's not having any problem with traction, which makes me think I can brake boost it even more. So we're gonna go ahead and give it one more try. I'll try to brake boost it just as much as I can without losing traction and hopefully that will yield the best time. And quite honestly, I have no idea what times these are. You guys already know, cause y'all are seeing it on the screen. But if I had to guess, I would say like a mid seven seconds, zero to 60, but what do I know? Okay, we broke the tires loose on that one. Must be doing something right. Not bad. So that's 70, 75, okay. I still don't know what the times are, but at least now I know I probably shouldn't be talking too much crap about racing people in the truck because it's not exactly the fastest thing on the road. Well, now it's time for me to head home and check out what those times were and, you know, edit the first half of this video. And then I will get back to you with my updated impressions after I see the times. So now I know what you're thinking at this point in the video. Riley, that truck's not as fast as a Lamborghini, but alas, it is and I'll prove it to you. The 2014 Ram 1500 is faster than one Lamborghini in the history of Lamborghinis. And that would be the 1983 Lamborghini Yalpa with a zero to 60 time of 7.2. So the next time someone calls your vehicle slow that does a faster zero to 60 than 7.2, just tell them, well, it's faster than a Lamborghini. They don't need to know which one. But in all seriousness, six point, we'll just say 6.8 seconds for the sake of the video, which is actually pretty good for a big ass Ram 1500. And that's 0.1 better than Motor Trend got. So 
I'll take it. Now it'll be interesting to see where that zero to 60 time goes. Will it get slower or will it get faster based on the modifications I do to this truck, which at this point, I have no idea. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully y'all found it somewhat entertaining and uh, kind of humorous. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.